Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Been lagging with the uploads, but you know, it's December, it's the holidays. And thank you so much, guys. I did not know I was going to reach 200 subscribers. That's uh, pretty awesome considering I don't have any uh, IT experience besides just, you know, completing these uh, rooms. So the last video was the NMAT advanced port scan. Hope you guys liked that. Uh, and this video is going to be phishing. As you can see, I already reset it. If you're on the other learning path, the intros, the basic ones, uh, these three is already done. It should be in detail, OWAPs, two shop and top 10 2021. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it too. So today's video is going to be the fishing room. Learn what fishing is and why it's important to a red team engagement. You will set up fishing infrastructure, write a convincing fishing email and try to trick your target in opening your email in real world simulation. So I'm going to start the machine and start the attack box. I like using attack box, but you know, you guys can use your own Linux, uh, terminal all right so let's uh get right into it as you know i'm showing you guys how to answer questions in each task i strongly recommend to read through every task to get a full understanding so all right task one brief answer questions below and pretty easy so all right done all right, task two, intro to fishing attacks. So it talks about spear fishing, different types. And it says, answer the questions below. What type of psychological manipulation is fishing part of? So as you read, it says social engineering is psychological manipulation of people into performing or divulging information by exploiting weakness in human nature. So you can copy and paste or type it in. And next question, what type of phishing campaign do red teams get involved in phishing? So as you read this, a term you'll come across in type of fishing campaign, a red team will participate is spear fishing. So spear means targeted groups of people. As you can see, target to aim, targeting an individual business or organization. So copy and paste or type it in. So all right, task three, writing convincing phishing emails. It talks about the address, subject, and content. So answer your question below, what tactic can be used to find brands or people a victim interacts with? So, as you read, it would be, I believe it's content. So standard, I type it in. No, it's not. Let's see. Spoofing, changing his text, clicking. It's an anchor. I forgot. It's not an anchor. Oh, to find what brands or people you can employ. OSINT, Open Source Intelligence Tactics. All right, next question, what should be changed on an HTML anchor tag to disguise a link? And I believe it's right here, anchor text, there's a link on it. So Wikipedia, okay. I'm going to type, yeah, anchor text. Dope. Okay, so task four, phishing infrastructure. 
Answer the questions below. What part of a red team infrastructure can make a website look more authentic? So more authentic. Uh, so you read through the tasks, I believe creating extra later authenticity to a text. So it's SSL slash TSO certificates. Copy and paste or type it in. Next question, what protocol has T text TXT records that can improve email deliverability? All right, TXT. Domain name. I believe it's a uh, email or web. Let's see, social engineering is set. That's not set. DNS, maybe. Let's try it. Yep. What tool can automate a phishing campaign and include analytics? Actually, read, and I believe it's Goldfish. There you go. Schedule when emails are sent, have analytics dashboard. Goldfish. All right. All right, let's go task five using Goldfish. It has already loaded. All right, start machine. Well, let's see, what's the question? Actually, we'll just follow this along. Okay, first launch the virtual machine, start button on the right. Once loaded, click the following URL to open Goldfish login page. Okay. All right, copy, paste, clipboard. All right. Okay. All right, it looks exactly like the example. And let's see, it says you should able to log in with username admin and password try hack me. Okay, admin try hack me. All right, save. Setting profiles. So, same profiles. And it says next add the following information per screenshot below. So, right, setting profiles. All right, new profile. So local server. So local server name from the reply red team host. Okay, so local server from no reply at red team. You can't see you guys, um, it's pretty much just following the screenshot alone. Then the host is 127.0.0.1. One, then it's not dot, it's colon. All right, ignore. And it says click save profile. All right. So next we're going to landing pages. So click on landing, new page. Okay. So New page learning admin login. Okay, so again, screenshot. So 
Batman log. This is capture submit data, capture password. You press the source button. Okay, so press the source button. And this is, you copy this. So copy, clipboard, clear, paste, and paste again. Awesome. All right. Then it says capture submitted data, capture save button. So save our email templates. Next tab. Click on email template, left hand side, new template. All right. It says give template email one. So I believe it's this screenshot right here. You can see. Subject, uh, new message receive. And add tracking fisher HTML. Link. Change source button. Okay, so click HTML tab, then source button. And enable to HTML editor. Then click on the link. Hence the screenshot right here. And use this link. Copy. Paste, clear clipboard. Sure. Oh, shoot. It's right here. Utter. And copy this one. You're just following along with the screenshot, guys. It's nothing complicated. So clipboard, paste. There you go. All right, so okay. And then the new templates, email one, new message receive. All right, then save template. Then we're going with users and groups. Again, click new group. And then follow this along the screenshot again, targets. So it says targets, then we're gonna click at these three emails. So copy, clipboard, clear, paste. At, so I'm going to change it to Brian at then the last one is accounts, right? All right, so same as screenshot, Martin Brian accounts, then it says save template. So save changes and then campaigns. So now it's time to send your first email, click campaigns, click on new campaigning, and it says name, again, screenshot again, follow this along. So campaign one, email one, at me logged in. So the URL is going to be So it's going to be, yours might be different. So copy, please, clipboards. There you go. It 
So it's launch date for this lab set two days ago, just to make sure there's no complication. All right, two days ago, let's put, uh, I'll put 17. Okay. Sent E, let's see, sent emails by optional local server, and then targets. All right. Launch campaign, ensure launch. Okay. All right, let's expand this. I can't do this anymore. Results of the page, okay. So, interesting. Here. Hmm, let's check the error. Okay, let's see. Try again, campaign. Still in progress. Okay. Interesting. All right, let me try again. All right, let me delete this, delete campaign new, try again. All right, campaign. Ten ninety eighteen. All right, let's try again. It's local server. Submitted data. I right, what's the password for Brian? Okay. One twenty seven connect connection refuse. Okay. All right, let's double check what did I miss. So let's go to sending profiles. Oh, okay, got it. 
All right, same profile. Let's see. Let's see. Let me refresh this again. Let's try a campaign, campaign one. All right. Oops, cancel. Let's try again. There you go. All right. After a minute, providing you follow the instruction correctly, you should see the status of Brian changes to submit data. Okay. Sure, refresh. There you go. Submitted data. And that's the password, guys. So, answer questions available. What's the password for Brian? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Do I need to view site? No. Okay, so let's exit split view. All right, task six droppers. Answer the questions below. Do droppers tend to be malicious? And it says droppers are not usually malicious, so hint, yay or nay. So, nay. All right, task seven, choosing a phishing domain. Talks about expired domains, typo squatting, TLD, top level domain alternatives, ITN, international lies domain name, homograph, attack script spoofing, and it says, answer your questions below. What is better, using expired or new domain? O or new? And it says, buying domain name with some history may lead better scoring. All right. So, Tennessee do not trust brand new domains. So, that means it's O. Next question, what is the term used to describe registry? registering a similar domain name with spelling error. And I believe it's typo squatting. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, task eight using MS Office in phishing. So using Microsoft Office, answer questions below. What can Microsoft Office documents contain which Contain which, when executed, can run computer commands. It's a uh, probably macros, right? Stuff. Contain macros, yeah, macros. And then task nine using browser exploits. And answer the question below: Which recent CVE costs? Remote execution, remote code execution, hint, and CVE. This is probably the easiest it says. Yep, remote code execution. So, it's a CVE 2021-40444. All right. And last one, task 10, phishing practical view site. And this is what's the questions, be, answer the questions below, what's the flag from the challenge? So click the view site. All right, let's see, let's go phishing test. Take a look at the below email and decide whether you think the email is a phishing email or whether it looks safe. So, Hello, it comes to our attention that your account may have been accessed by a third party. Please log in. 
and change your password here. Many thanks, Google support. My account, google.com sign in options password. Hmm. I don't really trust the link, so let's click that. Correct answer, you're right. This is this was a phishing email. Click show issues button. The reason why. The link actually goes to a different website than advertise. Next. The address, these emails usually come from accounts at the banking group .thm. All right. Let's see, hello, please download the latest finance report. Okay. Banking group. See, there's a link. It says bankgroup.sharehosting.thm downloads. I'm going to go with phishing. Yeah. Correct answer. You're right. This was a phishing email. Click show issues. Let's see, there is a misspelling in the domain name center. Accounts. The banking group.thm. Interesting. Do I see? Yes, it's missing a G right here. So, and the domain name of the link file looks suspicious. Yeah. All right. Let's click here. No reply. User, keep on. Hello, we haven't seen you for. I'll click here. Keep on hacking. So, it looks like a secure site. So I'm gonna, yeah. Correct answer, you're right, this isn't a phishing. Sometimes company have a separate domain name for sending emails, but the links still go back to the official site. Okay. All right, let's click here. Accounts, at me, IT support, user. Hello, I attached the report you asked for. Please don't show this to anybody. Ugh. Mm. Subject private for. I don't know, there's no link here. Uh, email looks safe though. I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, wrong answer. Don't trust PDH. Yeah, I should know. This is not from trusted source. All right. All right. So that's the answer. See, all right, guys. Uh, once you complete your share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I try to release a video at least once a week. I usually like to do twice. If I have time, I do three times a week. But yeah. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and till next time. Thanks for watching.